Sock liner. It's our last detail in making shoes. Sock liner covers insole. There are many different types of sock liners. But if you will know how to create a simple one, you will know how to customize it and make your own design of the sock liner. So, in this tutorial, I will teach you how to make this simple type of sock liner. Before we'll start, make sure to subscribe to this channel. If you want to learn how to make shoes, if you want to know many different useful tips for your craft, make sure to click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. So, let's start. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. To create pattern of the sock liner, you should use the pattern of the insole. And I already made a video on how to make pattern of the insole and you can check in the description of this video. So, make a pattern of the insole, then take piece of cardboard and place this pattern of the insole to the cardboard. Now we will make few changes to the pattern of sock lining working with the pattern of the insole. But first thing is to copy the outline of the sock of the pattern insole pattern. Then we should find most extended places on the inner side, on the inner side of the insole. We have two most extended places in front part of the insole and in the back part of the insole. So you can do it by eyes. So here we have most extended place and in the middle of this most extended place, we need to make a point. Then same thing you need to do on the back part. Here we have this kind of curve. So here we need to find the middle on this curve and it here. So we have here two points. Now between these two points, we will create another line to create pattern for the sock liner because pattern of the sock liner will be a little bit larger in the width and shorter in the length. So now we will enlarge it in the width. So after you will have these two points, we need to find third point in the most narrow place on the part of the insole. And it here, it is here on this place. You see here is most narrow place, most narrow place. Take ruler. Let's mark a point in the most narrow place here. And to this point, add extra 5 millimeters and mark another point. Now, through these three points, we will create curve line that will connect the line, the original line of the insole here and in the back part. To create this perfect curve line, use the pattern of the insole and place it in the way where same place on the insole, the point that we have here and point that we have here, lays along these two points. Then same thing with the back part. Narrow place here and point on the heel and through these points using the pattern of the insole will create a smooth line that will connect between these three points. Here it's a little bit not correct so let's 
because you see it extends here but it must lay perfectly and connect smoothly with the, this original line so we need to correct it and make it with without any extension here okay so here is our new line for the sock liner now now you see here in this place this line a little bit straight and i don't like it so we need to correct it and that's why i will erase it and we'll make this line a little bit smoother with the ideal ideal curve line You see, it's just small correction to make this line looks nice and curved. Now, this first correction that we made to our original pattern of the insole to create pattern for the sock liner. Now, we will reduce our pattern for the sock liner here in, the, in this edge of the pattern, in the toe. So we need to mark three, three millimeters from this point in the center. Mark three millimeters and mark point. Find three millimeters and mark point. And now through this point, using this pattern of the insole, we will create another curved line for the insole. Once you should place it like this. And then like this. This is how we reduced the toe part to create pattern for the sock liner. Because it must be a little bit shorter and this edge of the sock liner will not bend when we will attach it to the insole and will not bother your toes. Now let's cut it out. And we got pattern for the sock liner. Before you will go and cut it from leather, you should check it. How to check it? So to check it, you should try to place it on the insole in your shoe. And you see it must cover entire insole and that's why we extended here our sock liner so it will cover this place and will create smooth transaction between edge of the insole and inner side of your upper so again you see this is how you should check it place it and see that it covers entire pattern entire insole especially in this place also check it in the toe to be sure that pattern doesn't fold that's it now we have simple pattern of the sock liner and of course as i mentioned in the beginning you can customize it and make many different designs of your sock liner for example, like I made here, you see, I divide this pattern on two, this pattern of the sock liner on two parts. 
here will be one part and on the part of the heel will be another part with the name of your firm for example or with another pattern here okay but it's only one example on how you can customize your sock liner working with simple pattern you have here really many different possibilities and in my courses i show many different designs of sock liners but start with this one and then you will know how to change it so after you will know how to make this simple sock liner you can use it you can change it and make many different designs of sock liners if you have questions you are welcome to ask me all your questions below the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button to know when my new video will come out thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye